so if you do localhost uh, go to this url you will find whatever response you have given to your views it will be okay displaying this all right so let's come to views and okay in views we have this http response this is basically your html so you can actually use html over here straight away uh, so i'll just bold this i'll use this tag and over here i'll use underline tag okay i'm sure all are aware about uh, html basics that is quite simple uh, and so if i save this uh, the server will automatically update oh, some invalid syntax has happened okay let us check whether it works yeah i have written it outside the quotes one second let me So simply adding uh, a tag to this within the string will, uh, okay, it, uh, will also work. And if we go, it will automatically, uh, okay, update the server. It is continuously, okay, uh, check, checking what, uh, okay, changes are happening. So we don't need to rerun it. It has, okay, automatically updated. And if we go back uh, to the page where we have this and if i refresh it i should see okay the html uh, impact uh, the change effect so this is bold this is underlined so this is what uh, okay you can do through http response so now you can actually write a big uh, html content and you can just pass it through the http response and it will uh, work you can try this out uh, check this uh by yourself and see whether you can see the uh change how we can design so just like a css how we can design this page like yeah yeah so that is a separate uh html uh you can do uh anything okay like uh, uh whatever you can uh, include css you can have uh okay uh, various different uh, beautification uh, that can be done so currently we are just seeing uh, that uh, you can you simply pass an html to a response uh, making it better is okay the different part uh, that will be separate obviously uh, okay uh, we'll see obviously how we can uh, add the designing everything right here it is also yeah yeah so basically whatever you can do in html you you can pass it over here it will work right now we just uh, we are just understanding it uh, oh uh, basically i am passing an html response uh, to the client not simply a okay. string yeah uh, okay. so yeah so if all uh, have reached this point they can see some html output okay uh, in their web browser means okay I'll assume that you have caught it. Yes, underline is missing. Yeah, you. It's uh, It's fine. You don't put it under. You don't put underline or anything. Uh, just an uh, uh, intention is that uh, you can give any HTML tag. Pass basically an HTML content. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that is the idea. So it can be list also. Uh, anything. Yeah. So let me check uh, what is the status. Uh, control C will deactivate us. Oh, yes, okay. okay, cool. All right. Yes. So now, uh, as we saw in the introduction, uh, in when we were looking at slides, uh, I said uh, MBT architecture. Well, where the models, the databases, separately operating. The views are written separately and the templates are separate. So it is obviously uh, not good practice to write uh, the HTML over here because the HTML will, will definitely okay uh, uh, increase okay with the uh, development. 
then again css lot of things you will include so it will be huge so if i start writing for each uh, user html over here this will look quite a uh, uh, big mess so it is better we write uh, the html uh, somewhere else that will be a templates and will you call those templates over here will use those templates over here so now that is our next step so we'll go back okay to uh, terminal uh, basically you can you if you don't want to go here it is fine you have to go to your explorer uh, project explorer because next is uh, i'm in library management uh, let me show you this so yeah i'm in my main okay uh, project what i've created now i'll go to the app uh, library manager so i'll go to that directory this is where you all will go to library manager and you will see okay these content so i hope all have reached this point over here i'll be creating a directory named templates see to it uh, that uh, you create uh, this template uh, i'll do dir show you that i've created this folder called directory called templates spelling important everything because in settings uh, the django automatically takes template folder uh, okay it will automatically take whenever it finds uh, templates in your app it will search for html templates over there okay by default so it is quite important to mention this name do not uh, change okay anything in this the naming and all it should be exactly same because django by default will look in templates in your application for the html pages so kindly make this directory in your app library manager okay the command uh, if you are using command prompt then it is mkdir make directory templates or else from the explorer you can create a new directory the name is templates uh once done uh, kindly let me know sir we have to create this in our apps folder right yeah library manager is your app inside that you yes. have to create templates because django will uh, by default look for uh, your html templates in this application where templates folder okay lies okay so all i've uh, completed this so now we'll be moving to the folder that we have created that is templates so currently i am in templates okay fine i think i can't so let me continue create a template okay fine yeah so next is uh, uh, we'll be now making one more directory this so make the ir library manager so this is okay uh, not necessary but we will follow it we'll do it so what i am doing is in templates i am just creating a folder which is my which is same as my app name okay just to identify that uh, all the templates belonging so which belongs to my application are present in this folder so this is just for segregation Sir, purpose can we have a different name so that there will be i mean no overlapping lapping kind of a thing in future there won't be any overlapping uh, you can have different name exactly that is what i'm saying uh, you can have any name okay but see to it then you uh, use that name properly okay uh, when you call the template so for now i'm just keeping it same as the app because it will be quite use, easy for me to recall up. the template inside templates there is library manager folder which contains all the templates required by my app okay the reason why we do this is this is again not necessary you can straight away inside templates create an html okay but as you do more and more development okay uh, you may have different apps okay interacting with okay there you will have multiple apps so in that case if i have admin app i have admin templates i am overriding the admin templates okay so in that case i'll have one more folder inside my template known as admin which contains the templates which belongs to admin 
so it is good in manage uh, managing uh, the templates of different apps okay so that is why we we follow this otherwise it is not necessary again the name can be anything for this but we'll have the same name as the app name over here which is inside your templates so we'll make one more directory library manager inside templates make note of it this is inside templates so okay we have this now inside your template you will only have library manager okay library okay, manager is put, inside uh, please please just follow the same naming convention for now uh, do not use independent names uh, some default paths are usually yeah. following the same sort of pattern and secondly it is also easier to troubleshoot a problem if there is something that comes up so your path should look like how it is looking in front of you in the screen on Pathamesh's terminal, which is you create, uh, you have your library management folder, which contains your manage.py file. Then you have your library manager app folder inside it. Then you created the new templates folder inside your app folder. Then you now created a new folder, which is empty, but has the same name as your app name, which is library underscore manager. Yes, yes, yeah. Ankit is right because uh, it will be quite helpful for us to understand, uh, to debug uh, if any problems happen. Like, and another thing is the GitHub uh, code, okay, uh, has this similar structure. So even if you then later on copy paste, it will work smoothly, any part of the code. So it is good if you follow this. And for later, when you practice on your own, Okay, if you're trying some app, you can change and you can try, def definitely. Okay, so yeah. So I hope all have uh, created this folder. Now you will be entering this directory library manager that we just created. If I do DR, it is empty. There is nothing inside it. This is the place where we'll create our HTML template. So we'll be creating a quite simple one. Uh, obviously, not directly, notepad dot exe we'll call it books dot html okay and yeah it will say do you want to create yes i want so now we are in books dot html here you can do all Sorry, the can you, can you show the command one more time i, I missed it yeah uh, yeah you are in uh, library manager yeah, yeah, yeah. inside templates we yeah. want to create a file called books.html. Okay. So, yeah, this is how I created. You can use a, okay, like Explorer or Spider, okay, ID. Okay. So, all are uh, uh, in this book.html, books.html file. Here, the question uh, which we had, Okay, that uh, can we add CSS? Can we okay do more beautification? So this is the point with how you normally create your HTML, include JavaScript, CSS. There are other ways also which Django provides the static files, okay, and all. Uh, it also has its own uh, okay uh, CSS and uh, JS. So uh, that is also available, but uh, you can also have your own design and JS included in this HTML. So We'll just create a simple HTML uh, for now. Uh, this is quite a simple one that we are looking at. And uh, we'll have one, suppose, H1 tag, uh, which will say books. And then I'll just have in books, you can have an ordered list or ordered list, whichever. See, anything you write, it is not necessary, but I'm, uh, you can design it the way you want. This is not a problem. So you can also give ordered list, so numbers will come. And then inside this, we'll have li, which will be list item. And yeah. Mm. This is, uh, sir, we have to give four indent or something everywhere. Yeah. No, no, no. And HTML intent indentation okay. is not uh, not an issue. Yeah, you can okay follow anything that you want. Sorry. Yeah. 
so i am just making it so it looks quite okay clean that is fine so it's not compulsory yeah so indentation in html not necessary even it's a case insensitive insensitive and you can use upper case lower case not a problem so we have i will call it math i'll just copy this have another list item another so i'll say c python just uh, i'm just giving short names and yeah i have this for now and i'll save it so you can create your own html's uh, html the way you want but a simpler one because this is just for understanding how we can create html how we can link html to our views okay how views will render the html you have and uh, send it as a response to the uh, client so yeah keep it simple So what is the command to create books.html? There is no command. You can use your Windows Explorer and just create a new file. Okay. So I guess uh, everyone has created this. Yes, yes. So all done. Uh, shall we proceed? Fine. So now we have to tell our views, okay, that this uh, HTML we need to use. now comes the time uh, we'll be using the render we'll be rendering our html now we'll be using the shortcut already provided uh, so instead of this http response which will completely remove it for now we don't need it at this point we'll use the render okay so render basically uh, it's a as the name says uh, from the package it comes okay it's a shortcut uh, so it does everything Uh, you don't have to do anything at all just mention okay uh, what do you say uh, which uh, html template you want to use and that's it so it takes uh, request object the reason is it needs to know all the information that has been that client gives and accordingly it will okay uh, uh, handle the things automatically you don't have to worry the second thing that will will be passing is the html so my html by default django will look in templates but inside templates where it is it is in library manager folder correct and slash books dot html so it basically inside your templates don't write templates okay it django will automatically look in your application templates folder so you only need to write this and the third argument will be the context uh, for now we'll keep it empty dictionary we'll talk about this after we'll see the output of this thing okay so now this is how we tie up everything okay now everything is segregated uh, like your view is separate uh, the logic and your template which html is separate so uh, tomorrow if you find oh i need to change the design so you don't need to do any changes in views you need to go to books.html change it over there so okay quite a good practice for, okay when you develop something yeah so kindly change your code to this render okay and write it carefully i'll just zoom it so you see it clearly yes sir it's working perfectly fine in the browser Oh, you started browser also. Okay, fine. Uh, great, correct. Uh, yeah, I'll just wait for all to complete, and then I'll show the web page. We'll have to, we have to see that. Uh, always remember, whenever you test your application, uh, okay, see that your server, local server, is running. Number two, then you check. Okay, so. Otherwise, you will try checking, and okay, you will get page not found or page not found. They cannot reach actually. Okay, 
So once again, I'll check. I will have books dot html once. Okay. So books dot html is html. You can write uh, anything. It's not necessary. We want exactly like this. Okay. So I'll I'll show this again. Uh, but I'll first show the output. I'll go back. I'll okay. See my server is running. It's not running. I'll have to. Uh, see whether it runs okay so it's running it's running without any errors so now i can come here i can refresh this not showing so i need to rerun it maybe let me check yeah, yeah. For running this, you need to come back to uh, your main library management where your manage dot files. Yeah. So I had not saved the file, so it was not reflecting. Now it should. So yeah. So do not forget to save the file. It happens. So Matt, see, see Python. Now this is quite simple HTML. So point is we have uh, okay separated our okay logic and our template okay the design I mean to say HTML uh, design separate um, yeah so this is how it will look uh, on your uh, web page yeah I'll keep this open anyone who wants to still continue noting I mean to say typing. So I'll wait for a minute. I hope all of all will finish by then. Okay, and this is the views. So you have to only change one line. So you have to return this. This also returns a uh, HTTP response only, but it does everything for you. You only need to pass your HTML. That's it. Okay, I hope uh, all have got it. Okay, working good, good. None. So I'm getting positive. Yes. Okay, great, great. Okay, so I think we can now proceed. Now we'll come, okay, to this part. The third argument uh, that we'll be talking about is, uh, okay, the context. Context means uh, to the given views, okay, uh, the data that is, Okay, related to it. So now, obviously, books.html, as we can see, it is quite static. Okay, every time it will show math, C, Python, but that won't be the case when you actually build a website, right? Uh, when you actually create, you will have different books. So you will be writing a code uh, from where, okay, uh, from a database, you will get books. So, like, uh, how we do select star, okay, everything from, okay, if you're table name is book, then it will give me all the books. And those books should be, okay, displayed in my books.html. Okay, if that is how it should be. It should not uh, always show me the static content. The website should always be, okay, uh, dynamic, okay, to handle all these things. Otherwise, every time we'll have to change our HTML, which is not recommended at all. So for that purpose, to make it dynamic, we have this dictionary. Okay, we call it context. Basically, here, suppose uh, right now we have not created uh, any database, but assuming that uh, from database we retrieve uh, some values, like uh, I get uh, book one is related to uh, math, then you can put double quotes and single quotes. That's not a problem. Okay, then you have book two. I hope everyone have already uh, in the tutorials. Uh, you have done dictionary. Okay, creation of dictionary. All right. Uh, so book two will be your. Okay, uh, maybe we can call it for now. Okay. Uh, Silent. Okay, so we have these two books, and this is the context. Uh, 
that will pass okay uh, quite simple so passing a dictionary which contains information this information now will be dynamic as it will come from database as the database changes accordingly this okay data will change right now we have not connected it to db but assuming that okay this is what we got from db now we have the context now this is not it we have to go back okay to the html now comes the important part is now your content is dynamic so we can't keep these things these are static now there is one more important thing that is uh, okay you have a templating language that you need to study uh, for gango where you can okay uh, you can easily do some okay template manipulation so we'll be talking more about this in a while but for now okay only to understand okay if you want to display any variable inside your template will be using uh, okay double what do you say double curly brackets and we'll be calling this book 1 book 2 this is something okay uh, which we will be okay understanding more the template language okay uh, so currently just okay we'll make note of this um so we have book 1 book 2 book 1 book 2 is basically okay uh, the key of your dictionary which points which obviously has value uh, math and scilab so if i have book 1 it should show me math if i book 2 it has value scilab it should show me scilab so this is now your template has become a uh, dynamic whatever you pass through your context accordingly it will behave so if i say sorry save this if i come back where is my web browser so many things open yeah okay now see this has changed math and scilab so in my case so, it is displaying uh, this site can't be reached again yeah yeah server may not be running yeah, yeah. so uh, yes yeah so you have okay the uh, content change dynamically so you are not uh, now okay dependent on html okay for your content you are completely dependent on your views whatever view says html will produce okay this is also still okay not completely dynamic because right now we only have two books okay which will change we may have hundreds of books so for that we have okay the templating language also provides you with for loop which uh, okay does lot of okay dynamic things uh, quite nicely which you will see in the next uh, session so now coming back to this if i change from my database if i get something okay uh, over here uh, suppose biology book instead of maths okay maths is not available i save it over here i go back the server will automatically update okay so we don't have to worry and it will show biology scilab so i have not i am not touching html dynamically it takes whatever the view sends so this is okay uh, what is more important okay and that is the power of okay passing the data the context to your html so coming uh, coming back over here okay so this is the thing that you will always pass to your html to make it dynamic if you don't want to make it dynamic keep it static you have already done that that is quite simple but that won't be case okay in 90% uh, of the time so yeah so kindly uh, try this whether you are able to see this output and then we can okay maybe stop hello sir yeah yeah sure uh, sir the context that you have mentioned how does it become dynamic because we will still need to specify the entire context right uh no no uh, so basically suppose if i uh, make a query uh, for example uh, this you will be seeing later so books uh, i'll do a html query okay select star from the table books this will give me all the books right yeah 
Uh, yes, sir, I got it. Yes. And sir, yeah, one yeah. more thing. And that uh, will pass in this context. Uh, sorry. Say, say. After getting the context, we will be passing it to the render method, right? And yes, yes, uh, render. Because uh, the render uh, does everything. It understands that this is your uh, data and this has to be okay rendered in your HTML that you have mentioned. So uh, yeah, this okay completely handles it for you. But you have to mention which HTML and what context you want. Yeah. Yes, sir. Like so inside that. that HTML file, you have used two curly braces, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So that is the templating language uh, that. Sir, what uh, do we call that language? Uh, yeah, it's a, 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 a Jinja template, basically. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. You you may uh, have to you may do it separately, but it it is also available in uh, your Django uh, documentation. So. Uh, it's uh, there are various uh, tags that we have. We also have for tag, if tag, uh, in that. So yes, so that is uh, quite a, okay. Slightly thing, slight, slight more. Uh, you need a uh, time for that. Okay. Uh, so it's a uh, yeah. It's called. I'm Ginger facing the problem. Yeah. Now again, the problem is this kind site can't be reached, and the error is. The line seven uh, intention uh, intention error unexpected intent. Uh, In so view yeah. May I clear that error? Mm, uh, sir, so, doctor, sir, yeah. you are in Python. We require intention, I guess. Yeah, intention. Yeah. Yes. Intention is important. Make sure that the intention is exactly aligned. Yeah, same five. Yeah. Yeah. Go to so, the view.ui uh, file, highlight all the text, check first if the indentation is correct. So all everything should be four spaces in indentation. Everything should be in the correct blocks of the this thing. Sometimes sometimes what happens is your command may be outside of the function or something like that. That is one. one Secondly, random, also make sure this. that you're not mixed up tab and space. So only use space or only use tabs. Do one of the two. Don't so perfectly copied, sir. I understand, but just check once again, just to make sure. Uh, it could be that something may have happened here and there. Otherwise, we can uh, revisit your problem after we come back from the lunch session. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So those who are interested, it is okay. Uh, you can check Ninja templating. Engine that is what Django uses uh, for rendering its uh, template, and it is quite uh, why it uses uh, Jinja because it is more you will find the feel of uh, okay when you see for and all it is more of a Pythonic way of writing, so it's that is why the reason. So yeah, you can uh, okay check that. I think all have got the output i just got one of them you just got what in the browser i just got one of them like the second one is there first one is not uh you maybe context you may have checked the name and the thing you are writing in template if it is matching no, check the syntax check the braces double braces should be in both places uh, Check your context dictionary, make sure that it is correct. Check that you have used book one and book two and not using the same variable for both. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yes, yeah, sir. In my case, shall I say, share my screen? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, what error you? Yeah, I'm showing the error in. But that is the intention error in your views file. Uh, oh, is open in your that. views file. Views, views, yeah, views. Dot py. I'm seventh uh, line. Yes, sir. I will make sure. Ah, uh, yes. Please open that. The yeah, line between context that. and return. It is context and the spacing is incorrect. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Context. And mm. Excellent. And one more thing before, yes, go means at the beginning, C. Mm -hmm. It should be capital. 
no no one no, more space. space no no just one more space yeah yeah yes now it should work save it please yeah i have saved it run run the server yeah oh, yeah always run it is okay. yeah it is fine yeah, that's fine uh, html is broken that is fine yeah but mm. why this ml and this body tml are appearing sir uh, yeah the html is written incorrectly that is why yeah i will show the html yeah yeah so html you have not uh, written html at all you have written ml in the top okay i was not able to see in your file oh uh, 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 bracket bracket yeah. less than yeah at the start closing tag uh, you can remove body for now because it will throw an error at the bottom sorry sorry Any books that is fine that is fine body body that is, is not required right now yeah right now it's not required uh, and HTML HTML is closing is closing tag of h yeah closing so is okay required at the bottom yeah it is written no 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 closing means black uh, uh, you have to put a slash like how we have done na? yeah 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 here. in the like beginning that. or yeah this one yeah 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 that's the closing yeah yeah let me see now it is removed thank you sir yeah. thank you okay. yeah yeah anyone else can okay share the screen sir before i got the error and i corrected from the last 20 minutes i have not even anything uh okay you want to share your screen no sir but i want to i want to code sir from 1240 onwards uh okay okay you want to okay okay i'll you want to see the code basically yes sir yes sir okay uh okay after, before the... after getting my math and books okay okay so making it using the context basically that point Correct. Yes, sir. So, see, I'll just walk through this. So, we have library management inside which we have a library manager app. Correct. Yes, sir. Yeah. Then uh, the next step ah. is we mm -hmm. yeah we create Template. a templates folder. Okay. In templates folder, we have one more folder, library manager. How to okay. create, sir? Template folder. You can create. Uh, you can go to that directory. Uh, if you are using a uh, explorer, you can just create new. Right click new uh, directory. Na folder. Normally, how you create a folder in the same manner. I am just using. Uh, Inspider, sir. Inspider. We should do our in desktop. Uh, anywhere you can do it. Uh, but you go to this directory. Okay. Uh, library manager, and then you create in that directory. You can create a folder. You can use a explorer oh, also. Okay, 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 sir. Yeah. Here I have new file. Okay. Yeah. Then template uh, yeah. Templates, templates. Spelling important. Okay, one wait, sir. If you are using command prompt, the uh, command is mkdir. Will create. It. But don't don't use it if you are not comfortable. Templates. Okay, I saved it, sir. Yeah. Then ah, inside. Ah, yes, sir. It is showing. Yeah, nice. Mm. But one more folder you have to create inside templates. That is library manager. Inside template, sir. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, inside template, this folder should come. Library manager, sir. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, yeah, highlighted on the screen. Library underscore manager. Wait, sir. Sure. Okay, sir. I'm created. Yeah. So now inside a uh, library manager, you need to create a file that is h books dot html. Okay. So normally, how you create file in the same way? Inside library manager. Yeah. We should create books dot html, sir. Yes, yes, correct. New file or folder, sir. File, file, html file. file. We should write books dot html, sir. Yeah, books dot html. 
ఓకే సార్ యా సో నా ఇన్ సైడ్ బుక్స్ డాట్ హెచ్ టీ ఎంఎల్ ఫైల్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ద హెచ్ టీ ఎంఎల్ కోడ్ సో ఐ విల్ షో దట్ కోడ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద దిస్ ఇస్ ఓకే ద లేటెస్ట్ కోడ్ ఓకే సార్ కెన్ యూ పేస్ట్ ఇన్ ద మెసేజ్ యా షూర్ విల్ బి ఈజీ యా యా షూర్ షూర్ కరెక్ట్ ఐ యామ్ ట్రైంగ్ టు కాపీ అండ్ పేస్ట్ సార్ యా యా యూ కెన్ నా యూ కాంట్ one sweet sir yeah i have to write sir i cannot paste sir oh okay okay till the time you type i'll handle other issues okay vishnu has some uh, once open it sir okay then content use of tabs and yeah you have used uh, somewhere tabs somewhere spaces in your python code so you have to either use sir spaces yeah use spaces only i would suggest once open books.html sir i will write the code uh i bra show sure. paste it in the this thing na it's uh, okay okay chat. sir okay okay you can write it from there till then i can handle some other issues right yeah. okay sir okay so yeah uh, vishnu got it yeah so so go to written there is the problem written 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 name at the bottom starting line of the written yeah st- yeah there now yeah the way you went back now press one more time yeah see you have used uh, tab so use spaces four spaces yeah and the error has gone so basically uh, you have in context you had used uh, uh, i guess spaces and written see check go back will go ha huh, see spaces were there okay so you have mixed your your tabs and spaces cause this problem after writing it it is not coming in the same indentation level sir yeah indentation in html is not important yeah. no, not so important not, sir in html it's not important Okay, so vishnu had a exclamation at uh, that second line in the views can you tell me vishnu why why you have that exclam- exclamation mark i didn't hear you sir yeah uh, in views uh, uh, we saw the exclamation mark orange color on the uh, left side second line yes sir uh, any idea why that is coming because we, it is telling it is imported but not used yeah not used correct correct yeah it okay it's telling okay you scroll on it it will tell you okay fine great okay so all right anyone else anurag uh, can you share your screen okay ne show show me the html la yeah, yeah but ne uh, i mean to say कोड एच टी एम एल कोड नॉट यर नॉट यर द फाइल इन सम एडिटर यू कैन राइट क्लिक एंड नो ओपन मोर ओके no yeah uh, can you simply open it in notepad it will be quick okay fine fine uh, uh, okay no problem it's open um, yeah so all right now one second i mm give me a minute where is this this is book ne uh, so you have uh, show me a views.py see you are passing books.html over here and your file name you are showing me is book.html so this should be book uh, something yeah but then to it was working why it is not working now fine completed sir right okay okay yeah one second i I check on the web browser now refresh
No, no, no. You have to run the not like this. Uh, you have to run a local host. You have to serve it. Otherwise, it Django will not understand. The Django is actually uh, using the templating, no? templating engine, not the web browser. So yeah, you need to go back to where your manage.py is there, run the server, and it should work. If it doesn't, uh, you can share again till the time. I'll check other errors. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, you can stop screen share. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Uh, sir. Yeah. Yeah, you are finished writing? Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, now I'll uh, give what you have to write in views. Hmm? Okay, sir. Paste. Yeah, one second. I have pasted it. Mm. Okay, sir. Yeah, template does not exist means you have given a uh, wrong path, Shruti. Um, you can check in your render. See, uh, I've pasted the path library manager slash books dot HTML. If the error persists, then kindly share your screen. Sir. Mm -hmm. Before we create uh, created no sir defend books. Request return HTTP response after after again you should create our views. Sir. No 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 no. You have to edit the same same thing. Okay, in that in that only. Yeah, in that view only you have to just uh, instead of HTTP response you have to render and pass a context. Yeah, anyone uh, facing error quickly share the screen. We'll be waiting for another five minutes. Yeah, sure sure. Yeah, quickly. Mm, okay. Uh, can you show your directory structure? Library manager. Yeah. So you are missing something, I guess. No, yeah. Go to Lahan. Go. Yeah, no, 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 fine, fine. It's fine. Library manager. Okay. Go back. Okay, it's temp. Okay, uh, perfectly fine. Mm. Yeah, can you go to views? Yeah, it, I think it will be open somewhere. Views. Library manager. Yeah, kindly save uh, save all the files and check once views. Yeah, go to your server. Yeah, can can you uh, come out of this? Control C. Rerun it. Okay, and try to refresh localhost books. Oh, it's the same error. Uh, library manager slash books dot html. How is it possible? You have. Library management, Python path. Okay, I need to see your uh, directory structure once again. Something, something is going wrong there. I guess. Yeah, we'll start from the library management. Uh, this is the initial thing. Then you have. Uh, can you uh, enlarge this? Make it big. It's quite small. Yeah. Yeah. Now slightly better. So this is library manager. Yeah, double click. Then you have templates. Yeah, double click. Then you have library manager, and you have books dot html. So this is perfectly fine. And 
yeah i think there is no issue yeah okay, uh, now the only thing we need to see is views views look to find for me render request uh, is there space after html oh, it's proper uh, yes uh, okay fine completed sir oh, yeah one second one second yeah, i'll come books dot html library underscore manager um context everything looks fine to me um one second uh, django library manager manager views dot py mm, yeah okay there templates library manager mm, spellings are proper everything is oh it is saved as books.html.txt can you see at the uh, what do you say right hand side of your explorer this spider explorer it's books.html.txt it should not be txt it should be .html only so yeah go to your explorer yeah close this close this and uh, first close in the spider it will again have conflicts uh close yeah this one yeah now see uh yeah go to the explorer you can see the type is text document written on the right side before size one k okay so we need to make it uh yeah open it in notepad first thing yeah now do file save as yeah so uh, yeah at the bottom save as type uh, make all files yeah and now save it yes okay close this oh it's still uh, html no 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 uh, again again go to open it in right right click Uh, notepad open it in notepad sorry yeah save as uh yeah double in book uh, put uh, books.html in double quotes uh, this should not happen but yeah uh, all files it will be good uh, save it yeah so now uh, remove that text document second one delete it so now confusion avoid over it will avoid the yeah now run hmm okay fine you can correct that uh, okay you want okay we can go to views quickly yeah so you have book books one see you make uh, right make it book one context hmm, save it and rerun it it should work so be careful uh, when you create a file uh, it should be html document not uh, the text document all right okay uh, yeah uh, yeah sir yeah jayant right once so open your views uh, views.py uh, okay uh yeah no problem so okay, yeah i'll open my okay can you see my views yes sir yes sir once wait sir yeah yeah sure okay sir completed here completed yeah okay i'll start okay uh, now you can check uh okay the run server and web browser yeah anyone else i think no one else has any issue so fine only see if jayant is able to get the out once wait sir i am checking yeah yeah sure sure syntax error in sir yeah you can share the screen i will quickly rectify okay sir it's appearing sir Yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, def we have written it twice, which is not the correct syntax in Python. You have to write it only once. Def. Where it is, sir? 
yeah at the last line line num bottom so in views it is in views in, i wrote only one time show show can you show oh, oh, okay sir once wait yeah share your entire screen so oh, okay sir i save now yeah it's running yeah go to the web browser okay sir copy paste sir yeah no problem Please come like this, sir. Uh, I'm not able to see. I'm only. I can only see the command prompt. Oh, once wait, sir. Yeah. I think you need to share the entire screen. Maybe you can stop and reshare. Is it appearing, sir? Yeah. Now, now I can see. Yeah, you have to put books uh, slash books after local host. Wait. Me, the the same you are. Uh, you don't need to open new one. Same, same. Okay, fine. Yeah, enter. Yeah, enter. So template does not exist at library manager. Books dot html. Okay, can you show your directory structure? Administrator. Uh, yeah, where all your folders and all are there. Okay, present. okay, okay. Spider. Hmm. is it appearing sir no uh, yes yes correct so see uh, uh, your books.html should be inside templates so on the right right side you have templates explorer you can see templates is written yes sir yeah uh, uh, can you double click on it i mean to say oh it's a file no 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 it should be a directory na Hmm. And uh, why is this happening? So no, 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 no. Uh, full, full problem has happened. Okay, can you can you go to command prompt? Uh, close all the files over here currently. Spy. Focus. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Close everything over here for now. You can later I... reopen. Hmm? Okay, sir. I should close, sir. Yeah. Close it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Can me? Can you show me your CMD? You can share the screen. I'll help you out quickly. Okay. Share sound optimize for video. Please. Share entire screen. Yeah. There, there will. You have to select the window and enter. Yeah. Uh, now go to command prompt. Yeah. Press Control C. Yeah. Can you do DIR? Yeah, so you are in library management. You have library manager. Do cd space library manager. Cd space library. Yeah, use tab to auto complete. Tab will auto complete for you. Tab button. Press tab tab. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one more tab. One more tab. Because we want manager. Yeah. Enter. So tabs are quite useful. Yeah. Yeah. Do dir to see what is inside it. Yeah. So see, a uh, lot of messes happen. Books or HTML should not be here. Okay, we'll be moving it later. But uh, uh, and there should not be library manager folder over here. So that is oh. one problem. Okay, so later you delete this. Okay, library manager. Uh, okay, but now uh, go to templates. CD space templates. spelling spelling do type tab it will go back slightly spelling mistake tab tab could you press tab 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 na ah, tm na ah, na 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 first write few few cd space tem tab press tab not coming sir it will come it should come it is a spelling is that Yeah, proper. Enter. Uh, do dir the name file name not directory name. Oh, you have not created directory. It's not a directory. I've created file. Okay, 
लाइब्ररी मैनेजर फ्रॉम य Yeah, delete uh, templates. No, 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 no. Okay, what is this? Uh, okay, got it. Okay. On yeah. God. Okay. Uh, delete uh, templates file from here. Yeah. Now create a uh, right folder. Create templates. Right click. New folder. Templates. Hmm. Enter. Go inside this templates. Create one Here more folder. Here we should create. Uh, okay, sir. Yes. Library manager. Library manager. Yeah. This is just to segregate our uh, templates. Underscore. Never put space. Okay, sir. Why, sir? Because uh, uh, the space. Okay, it may be uh, so like a compiler or anything may. Have, Uh, treat it as a separate entity uh, okay, when you sir. put underscore it's a one single entity so yeah okay and okay sir it may and uh, now today's uh, uh, os are smart it handles it but uh, in olden times it used to create a lot of problems so we continue with it to avoid any issues yeah okay okay sir so, yeah in command prompt also you'll find if you have space it it becomes quite difficult to handle yeah that okay sir sense. yeah fine uh, library manager double click on it Yeah, uh, don't click on it. We just copy that uh, books. dot html in this inside this. So go back. Yeah, books. dot h uh, is there, na? See, okay, books. Yeah, cut it. Uh, Control X. Yeah, cut, cut. Beside, beside, cut. No, don't, don't copy. Cut it. We'll remove it. Cut. Yeah. Now go to templates. Go to library manager, and paste it. control v yeah yeah now try rerunning your server and uh, the thing should work now it is saved as sir ha saved it is automatic we have just relocated so cd okay. cd no no do cd dot 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 cd space dot 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 mm No, uh, no, I haven't. Uh, okay, at enter. Uh, now do dir. Hmm. Yeah. Can you see manage dot py? Yeah. So this is the place where your manage dot py is there. So do Python space manage dot py run server. Python. Yeah. Space. Yeah. Do tab to auto. Python manage dot py run server sir. Yeah. No issues yeah, no, came there. Yeah. No. Go to web browser and check. Okay. Yeah, you can just refresh this page. See coming. Mm, Biology. Yeah, HTML, yeah, HTML uh, somewhere is problem. Go to views. One second, sir. Mm, yeah. Start. Where is that views, sir? 
Yeah, you need to reopen the spider. Ah, oh, yes, I, I have closed it before, sir. Yeah, yeah, so you need to reopen it. Yeah, long. Thank you, sir, for helping. I think it's perfectly fine. No I should press cancel or see, sir. So, if I cancel, these are temp files, so not any. Cancel, issue. sir. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, go to views.py. This is book. See, capital book two you have written. It should be small, no? Oh, because uh, it's Python case sensitive. It is next. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah, book two, sir. Yeah, book two. Yeah, save it and uh, just simply uh, check the web browser. It will auto update it. Refresh. Yeah. Mm, yes, sir. Came. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Nice, nice. Thank okay. you, sir. Yeah, no worries. Bye. Yeah, thanks. Yeah.